Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how iMovie stores its files. So I get asked from time to time about how iMovie stores its files. Why can't you open a project and save a project like a normal file, say from a word processor or a graphics program? See, iMovie has its own little file system. Let's look at exactly how it works. So there are two different types of files that are stored by iMovie. The first are projects. And if you look here at the top, you've got your project library, and it'll list a project with a little sampling of what's inside of it here. And you could see on the left here, it lists different hard drives attached to your Mac. So here's the main Mac hard drive, and here are the projects on it. If there are any projects on these external drives, it would also list them in the same way. The other type of file is an event file, and these are basically the video clips that you're going to use to build the project from. So you've got down here a list of hard drives like before, and events are organized by date. So you have these little calendar uh, icons here, and say in 2010 there's a single event there, and 2007 I've got an event here as well. And you can see the different hard drives represented here, and you can tweak the triangles to open and close them. You can see I've got no events saved here for these external hard drives. So there's just these two events on my one internal hard drive and the one project on my one internal hard drive. So where are these files? Well, on the Macintosh hard drive, the internal one, I can find these by going to my user folder and looking under Movies. In there, I'll see that I have iMovie events and iMovie projects. And I can see subfolders inside of those. You can see for the two different events there. And under Projects, I can see that same project there. Each project will appear as a file, and each event will appear as a folder. And in the folder, you'll have the clips and also a cache and set of thumbnails for that event. Now, let's say I wanted to move an event to an external hard drive. Say I want to save one of these events to my media disk hard drive. The way I could do it is I could simply drag this event here onto this hard disk. And you see it will copy it. Since it's doing, going from one drive to the other, it'll do a copy, not a move, which is just what happens if you copied files as well. So now I can see I have a copy now of this event on the media disk drive. If I go to media disk and I look here at the top, I can see I have now an iMovie event folder that I didn't have before. I created it on the top level there, and there's my event inside of it. Since there's no user folder on this external drive, it'll create an iMovie event or an iMovie projects folder at the top level and then store all of the files in there. Now a lot of people have asked me how you can archive the events and projects and you can simply move these things as regular folders in the finder. So you can go to uh, the finder, say uh, go to your movies folder and look for the iMovie events and iMovie projects and pull these whole folders and the project files out and store them wherever you want. So you can put them onto an archive DVD or onto an external drive for storage. And if you want to bring those projects and the events back into iMovie, you can simply drag and drop them back into these folders here and they'll then appear the next time that you run iMovie. If you ever want to quickly find a file here, you can't control click on say an event and reveal it in the Finder unfortunately, but you can control click on a clip in the event and then go to Reveal in Finder to go right to the folder where the event is stored. Now you can change how these lists appear. If you control click in this area here, you can select to have events grouped by disk. Uh, so you can combine all of the events here and you can't tell which disk each one is on. Uh, you can also have um, group events by month instead of just by year. Uh, and you can even have it show separate days in the different events here on the right. If you ever want to get rid of an event, you can control click it and select move event to trash. So for instance, after I copy this one from one disk to the other disk, I could have gotten rid of the original one doing that. The same thing with projects here. You can also control click or right click on a project and then select move it to the trash. So I've got two types of files, projects and events, and they appear both in iMovie and in the Finder under your user folder in Movies or as iMovie events and iMovie project folders on the top level of external or secondary hard drives. So if you found this look at iMovie files interesting, until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.